So for today's episode, I thought I was gonna grow out my hair, but to be honest, every time I look at it, especially like with my beard getting bigger, I think it's gonna look better if I just do like like the kind of shave buzz cut. So I am gonna get a haircut today, but before I do that, I am gonna hit up some thrift stores. It is Saturday, so there is some sales. So I'm gonna hit up the thrift stores by my house, maybe we find some nice steals and deals. Then let's get my haircut so we can, uh, your boy can look fresh and you guys can stop in the comments saying, Emilio, get a haircut, Emilio, get a haircut. So hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. Got like this vintage 1997. Unfortunately, it's single-sided. Then we do 1993 Florida Panthers. 2003 Marlins. This one's not bad, unfortunately. Single-sided, but the colors are pretty nice. Single, uh, double stitch. 1964, 2000. Not sure if I'm gonna grab it though. What is this? this is a double sided? Oh, this is a nice one. Double sided. Hot rod. Got this Harley Davidson long sleeve. Unfortunately, it's all stained and whatnot, so we're gonna leave that behind. Anything else good over here? Maybe not. Got the vintage Pro Player Marlins 1997 World Series. Vintage Adidas Marlins t shirt. It's rare. You don't really see Adidas on the Marlins t shirt. Might be bootleg, but hey, we're gonna grab it double sided. Look at this vintage members only 100% wool jacket. This thing is so sick in like the all red colorway. Little pockets on this side. This jacket's so fire. Got this vintage uh, horse Belmont Stacks 1990. A few stains though, not sure if I'm gonna grab it. Got the vintage champion Florida Gators with the Florida spell out. Little champion C right there. Probably gonna grab this. Not bad. Nine t shirts. Thank you, man. Alright, here Hey, how's it going? This barbershop has like all antique stuff like hanging up all over the walls, all record labels. Pretty sick. You don't happen to have any beard oil left, do you by any chance for sale? I do. You do? I didn't mean to catch you while you're running out, I just didn't know how long. That stuff that I got from last time, the smell of it was just so nice. How's it going? Good. Uh, I'm gonna do a three on top, and then like a one on the side, and just fade into it. And then the beard, I'm gonna do it just like that. Thank you. Well, I am looking all nice and clean with a nice little haircut. I'm gonna quickly run home, drop my backpack off just because I do have the clothes that I got for today. And I think I'm gonna get some lunch and I know you guys are gonna be like a million just had it, but I swear I, I wanna eat sushi every single day. But I don't think I'm gonna get the same thing I always get. I am gonna get the rainbow roll, but I think I'm gonna get something a little bit different. So let's go quickly drop off these clothes and kind of figure out what I'm doing for lunch. I've gotten that before, it was really good. Uh, that is the rainbow that I usually get. Shrimp tempura is also the one I usually get. Maybe this Mexican roll? I don't know, everything looks so good. Bonsai fried, soft shell crab, a masago. Now you guys see why I come here almost every single day. Again, the rainbow roll, no tilapia. So we have salmon right here, tuna right there. Uh, it has avocado on the top. Inside is crab with cream cheese and cucumber. And then over here, this is tuna on top. Then this is crab on top. And then below is a California roll. And people that don't know a California roll, it's just uh, crab, cucumber, and avocado. So fire, and then obviously spicy mayo for the side. Well, I am so full from that sushi. It is honestly so fire. Like I said, if you guys are on Broward and Federal, I definitely recommend it. Sushi One is so fresh. They make it as like you order. It's just amazing, amazing. But I'm quickly gonna show you guys the finds of today. Now keep in mind everything that I show you plus a hundred other items is for sale on my website, link down below, emcvlogs.com. Every single purchase does help support make these daily videos, so I appreciate every single one of you guys. So let's just jump into the finds. 
So to start it off, we have this vintage 1993. There used to be a ballpark. Um, obviously this stadium was 1909 to 1970, so it's no longer there. I did look it up on eBay. There's one for sale for like 50 bucks. Uh, this has some staining, so I'll probably put it on my website for like 20 bucks. We did find a couple old school hot rod t-shirts. Unfortunately, they're not NASCAR. I wish it was NASCAR because you guys know I love my NASCAR shirts. Uh, I love like all over double sided like the crazy print NASCAR. Like for example, uh, I think I still have one. Yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. This Jeff Gordon, just literally all over. The colors are just insane. These are my favorite. So this is 2001, the Hot Rod Nationals. And it fits about a large, it's tagged XL, but again, everything will be, uh, have measurements linked down below. And on the back, it does have the Hot Rod Association. Next, I wasn't going to pick this up, but yeah, she said she'll give it to me for a dollar. It does have a little yellowing on the collar, but this is from 1990, the Belmont Stakes. And obviously the little horse riding and whatnot. This is probably going to be cheap, probably like $7 on my website. Next, we do have a 1993 Florida Panthers. Nothing too special, but a nice little logo. This will be cheap, about $10, and it fits about a large. This is sick. I'm not sure if it's authentic or not, but it's tagged as Adidas. We have the double-sided uh, Mar Florida Marlins. Now, this fits about an XL, about a large XL. You have the big logo on the front, and then my favorite on the back, little Adidas hit. And then you do have the Florida Marlins, the old-school logo with the little and the teal colorway right there. And this will be also about, this will be about $14. I decided I'm gonna be, I decided it's probably better if I keep telling you guys the price as it is. Maybe it kinda helps you out, you know. Oh, I'm selling that for $10, I'm gonna quickly go on his website and buy it for $10. A lot of people will see stuff not realizing how cheap I do price my stuff. This is actually sold, this sold pretty fast, so shout out to my dude. Uh, he's actually local, he's gonna pick up a nice little bundle. But he caught the 1997 World Series. Has a little Guy Harvey, Stadium, 1997, Champions, and it is on a pro player tag. Another shirt that did sell, I wanted to keep this for personal, but eh, someone wanted to cop it. The Vintage Mickey, you have the little embroidered Mickey right there with the M all throughout. Vintage Mickey and Co. On like the Heather Gray, super nice. Another hot rod shirt with all the bright colors. Again, I wish this was NASCAR. If it was NASCAR, I would probably end up keeping it, but I don't really like hot rods. I don't really know much about them. So we do have this 49th Autorama 2001. I just love the colors, like the yellow, the pastel purple, the red. It's just so nice. And then on the back, we do have all the names of all the winners from 2001. Next, we do have about a large XL vintage champion of the Florida Gators. Now, if you look closely, it kind of looks like it's going to be cut and sew, like patched work. But that's just how it's printed. This is all screen printed. So you can see it kind of has like that chop logo. It has a little champion C right there. This I've showed before. I got this actually uh, for free out of the dumpster when we found that um starter jackets but i did wash it and try to get a couple of the stains out and most of it did it obviously it's vintage so it's gonna have some yellowing it's so hard to keep white shirts uh clean that's one thing is like people will be like oh is there any is there any yellowing and it's like guys this is a vintage shirt probably 25 years old older than some of you guys and you guys are complaining that there's a little yellowing like just don't buy vintage if you don't want that is me i could care less it could have holes in it it could have Pit stains, it could have whatever, well maybe not pit stains, pit stains I kind of, I don't like pit stains because it just looks dirty, but if if there's like some yellowing on it or a scuff or paint marks, whatever the case may be, I feel like that just add character. Um, it could just be my personal opinion, but I have shirts, like look at this shirt for example. You guys would probably be like, Amelia, why do you even have that shirt? But look at this shirt, this Budweiser. This is all naturally distressed, holes all throughout, like look at all the holes. But I love it. This is one of my favorite shirts that I own. And I also have a tank top version. Just look at all the holes. This is all natural distressing. Now companies usually, you know, put their own holes and will do their own distressing to kind of make it look vintage. But this is pure like vintage. So I don't know. I, I love it. I love like distressing and holes and yellowing. And it just gives the, it gives the clothing character. So, like I said, we do have, this is probably about a medium, the Juno Alaska crew neck. And last but not least, 
Honestly, I tried this piece on and if I lived somewhere, like if I lived in Colorado where I eventually want to live, I would a thousand percent keep this because when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Like I can picture like a designer having this and it'd be hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But basically we have the vintage members only bomber made out of 100% wool in the red colorway. It has the two pockets, little members only. The camera's picking up a little bit brighter than usual. Um, it is like a dark red, uh, maybe like a brick, I want to say. It says 44, which fits about a large XL, um, made in Thailand. And then on the inside, it does have, oh, where's the tag? Oh, maybe I can't find it, but it does say 100% wool. Um, you could see on the sleeves, it kind of has like that. This thing is just so nice. It's probably going to be about $40 plus shipping, maybe $35 plus shipping. But again, just check link down below. There, there's also measurements on every single listing, so that way you know if it's going to fit you or not. But I'm going to quickly edit today's video, throw it up to you guys. I'm sorry there wasn't too much content. I wish I could have gone to other stores or got more things, but it was a dry day. And, you know, like I said in a previous video, sometimes I go to thrift stores and I don't find anything. So I just keep that in mind because I get so many DMs like, I went to Goodwill, I didn't find anything. Like even friends of mine will complain like, oh, there's nothing out there. But then the next day they find a bunch of stuff. So it's like literally a casino you don't know if you're gonna win you don't know if you're gonna lose you just have to go on the mindset of you're gonna win every time so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're not subscribed i will see you guys tomorrow for another emc vlog and don't forget guys let's get it